In patients with small pupils, especially those on medications known to cause intraoperative floppy iris syndrome, IFIS, pupil expansion devices can be lifesavers. I will present just a few pearls on insertion and removal techniques of the Malugan ring. Although this is my device of choice, please note that there are other pupil expansion devices on the market. I present a case of a 75-year-old patient on Tamsulosin. The behavior of his other eye has already taught me the very floppy nature of his iris. Hence, I decided to place a Malugan ring. When placing the ring, always capture the distal iris with the scroll of the ring, as you can see here. Then as the ring is further inserted, gently tilt the device allowing iris capture with the medial and lateral scrolls of the ring. As three facets of the ring are already nicely in place, the proximal aspect of the ring can easily be manipulated into place. I have used various hooks including a Lester and Kuglin, but I have found the Malugan manipulator allows for the easiest grasp of the ring. Once the intraocular lens has been inserted and centered, as we are doing here, the distal scroll of the Malugan ring can easily be disinserted. The Malugan manipulator is now reintroduced into the eye. The proximal scroll is easily grasped and disinserted from the iris. The inserter device is then placed into the eye. The proximal scroll is ensnared allowing for seamless removal with minimal iris manipulation. I have found this technique to be friendlier to the iris than simply grasping and removing the ring from the eye. In summary, pupil expansion devices have made IFIS cases rather routine in the majority of surgeries.